If you're trying to work out the difference between AWS's REST and HTTP API by name alone, you're gonna have a bad time. You might think it's safe to assume that HTTP API is a type of API that doesn't quite qualify as REST. Well, it does. AWS describes both REST API and HTTP API as RESTful products. More specifically, HTTP API is described as a cost-effective and low-latency REST API. So if HTTP API is a REST API, and both APIs obviously use HTTP and you can't intuitively tell the difference between the two, I think you can give yourself a break. The good news is by the end of this video, the differences between the two APIs will be clear. We'll go through the purpose behind each API and why having the option of HTTP API is really handy. And most importantly, you'll know exactly when to use which API in any given scenario. REST API has been around since 2015 and it is rich with features. HTTP API was introduced in 2020 as a lightweight alternative to REST API. A useful visual of the differences between the two APIs can be found in this documentation page. The initial takeaway from this page is that there is a significant difference in the number of features supported by REST API compared to HTTP API. I'm not going to go through every single feature difference, but let's just cover some of the highlights. So let's start with endpoint types. HTTP API only supports the regional type, whereas REST supports all endpoint types. You can protect your API with more security options with REST, although HTTP API supports mutual TLS authentication too. Multiple authorization options exist for both APIs, give or take JWT and resource policies. For API management, both APIs share the ability to use custom domains. However, only REST API has the ability to use API keys and per client usage throttling and rate limiting. So basically only REST API has the ability to offer usage plans and API keys. Development has some notable absences for HTTP APIs such as caching, test invocations, limited request transformation and no request validation. Although HTTP API does have a unique feature of automatic deployments. And finally integration shows that HTTP API has the unique ability to do private integrations with application load balancers and cloud map but lacks REST APIs mock integrations. Now it may seem like I've just gone through this page pointing out why REST API should be your default choice when comparing it to HTTP API because it can do far more with a few exceptions. But we still don't entirely have the full picture because something that wasn't obvious from that run through of the documentation, although we did briefly touch on it earlier, is that HTTP API for the majority of cases comes up with an up to 60% reduction in latency and is at least 71% cheaper than REST API. Have a look at the X-ray trace result of a request that was made to both REST API and HTTP API. Even if we put the actual latency values to one side, you can still see that the REST API request had more hops on its journey to its destination. The difference being that HTTP API doesn't even pass through API gateway. REST API requests go through a series of checkpoints that allow you to do such things as request validation and data transformation. But you don't actually have to do any of these things at these checkpoints. The functionality is optional, but the journey the request takes is not. It's still gonna go through the checkpoints. So if an application was using REST API, but not using any of its specialist features, Features, you would save more money and experience less latency by making a switch to HTTP API. So the general rule of thumb in choosing between REST and HTTP API is to use HTTP API if you don't need any of the specialist features that are only supported by REST API. Before I end this video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all those people who have subscribed. This is literally the emotional journey I go on each time I see a new subscriber. I'm very grateful for each of you that have subscribed, so thanks a lot. I've got videos going through developing your own REST and HTTP API. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'd be grateful if you could hit subscribe. Drop a comment down below and tell me where you're watching from. Cheers.